just a quick line. That's it. It is a beautiful thing. Look at that. Welcome to Culinary Delight, <gasps> the show where two Midwestern moms feed your hungry boys. We help you feed. We don't feed your boys. We feed our boys. You're going to feed your boys. And we're going to help you to do that. Welcome. Happy springtime, everybody. Oh, my God. It's spring. Look it's at how spring. beautiful. Look in front of your flowers. And I'm wearing a flower dress with butterflies. There's no flowers. It's just butterflies on this dress. And it's, uh, it's so nice to be out of the winter doldrums. Right. Wouldn't it's so agree? nice to get that snow out of here and just be. The snow starts melting. And you yeah. have that You have that one nice day. A one nice day. first nice day of the nice year. One nice day. Everyone comes out. Like, oh. It might only be 52 degrees, but it's sunny it's and the so snow started great. melting, and yeah. everyone's in their shorts, and the boys oh. all got their tops off. They're running yeah. around, and they're they're everyone's playing, and everyone's blasting music. Yeah. So such a good feeling. Welcome to it. I'm so glad to be back. It's I'm a, so glad a, to be a here. Bit of a rough winter. A rough yeah. winter. Yeah. I but mean, it's over now, and here we are in the spring, and it's gonna here we are. be. Also rough, but like it, it's okay. <laughs> at least the weather's gonna be a little better. Yes, at least the Is weather that will be getting the better. Weather. Not for a while. No. But like but in any case, we're Ooh. here and we're happy to be here. And I have got a delightful <gasps> springtime recipe that's perfect. Yeah. For hungry boys. Are you ready, Lala? Yes, I am. My hungry boys are ready too. This one's called Rainbow Mac and Cheese. Your face is not excited. I am not excited about it. You're not excited for Rainbow Mac and Cheese. This is so much more exciting than regular mac and cheese. This is, is a Rainbow it? Mac and Cheese. Is it? Yes, it okay. Is. Okay. It's like, but it is simple to make. It's is a real it? easy one. It is. It's a real easy, easy process. Okay. So here's what, let's go through it. It's probably one process. step. Is one step, and if it's taste of home, it's, that one step is make mac and cheese rainbow colored. I, it's not taste of home. I got so, some British oh, thing. Ew. <laughs> you yeah, know it's bad if it's a British thing. Well, I didn't say it was bad. It's amazing. You're going to be amazed is, by this wonderful this recipe, is, and your hungry boys are going to love it, especially if they're two. <laughs> so was, look at this. This homemade Don't. rainbow mac. This recipe will change your life. Do not make promises oh. you cannot keep. This will they're not just change God's your against. life. They're swinging. They're swinging yeah, for the this for will the change your here. life. Like, okay. They got doing a doing a called shot there, wouldn't you? Do oh. a called okay, shot. Okay, Kelly Bryden. Thanks, Babe Ruth. Yeah, Kelly yeah. Bryden. April twenty seventh, two thousand sixteen. Oh, I think this yeah. is. This I mean, to be I fair, this recipe. To be fair, I think this, this recipe is, might be why Trump won. This, to be fair, this is from a time where a recipe could change your life. <laughs> oh, well, uh, my lives were changed that uh, painful uh, year. Oh, not for uh, the better. Well, some for some people they liked it a lot better, but they're all horrible. Anyway, we won't go into that too much. We're gonna go here to the ingredients. One box of it doesn't say one, but we can assume it's one box of elbow macaroni sure uh that could be any size box any you size know, box know. just, <laughs> any, just a box just like a cardboard box go to, like go to costco and buy like costco, a refrigerator a giant size. box yeah. and just that's giant it box, make it up it. five tablespoons of butter okay three cups of milk sure one tablespoon of salt okay two cups of cheddar cheese mm-hmm one cup of Monterey Jack cheese, a half cup of Parmesan, yeah, a quarter cup of flour, yeah, and food coloring. I just want to say, I know we like, and that's the key, I know we rag on Velveeta a lot, but if you're not using yeah. Velveeta in your mac and cheese, you're not going to get that creamy consistency. I don't use Velveeta in my mac and cheese. I, I, use, use, uh, I, use, you, I, use, I also use eggs in my mac and cheese, so... I use Goyer as one of my cheeses, which yeah. is a, a Swiss. I think it's a yeah, Swiss I know, cheese. Oh, I know yeah. what Goyer is. Well, I know you do, but I'm okay. not sure everyone watching this knows. But like, I like. I think I found that Goyer is as 
perfect for mac and cheese because it it has like the the tang and the zip of like a sharp cheddar but it melts yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharp cheddar melts very poorly. It melts. Uh, whereas, Gruyere makes whereas melts Gruyere great. makes it makes melts well. And so, like, if you if you use like a kind of a medium or a mild cheddar with Gruyere, you get that sharp flavor without the without yeah. without all the oily mess. And then, yeah. or less so, because like you got to use some cheddar. But like, I I think like also you know I'm not gonna American cheese. American cheese. Yeah, is that, also good. That melts you can get amazing. Like a yeah. block, yeah, it, it works great. Yeah, and and macaroni and cheese and homemade mac and cheese. I I, I like a little dash of cayenne, maybe a little hot sauce. Yeah, you know what else is that? cool? Uh, I don't put it in the recipe, but I will. I'll put it on myself and like leave it out for people if they want to add it yeah, to it. I make it an optional. Another I just cool put a is, tiny dash in, like like yeah. a half a teaspoon, and then just to like give it a little bit of zip, and you don't really yeah, notice it. it a whole lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little, little, little anyway, you know when you buy you like a buy you like a buy a box mac and cheese, and it comes with like the powder inside. Yeah, thing. you you can buy like a big tin of that the powder. Tubs of the powder, and I've done that before to not only kick up my mac and cheese, but I've also made I've also used this as a base for making uh, fried chicken breasts. And then, like, have, like, cheesy fried chicken breast sandwiches. Oh, yeah, they're real good. They're real good. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I could see that being Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, also do a, yeah I, we'll have to do a homemade recipe sometime. Yeah. Our own recipes. Maybe we should just write a book. Would you? Hey, everyone, comment <laughs> if you'd like us to write a book and you would buy our book. Yeah, I'll share my recipes. I'm not one of those people who's like, you just oh, secret well, recipes. Like, I'm sharing my recipes. I'm sh I want people to enjoy the food that I love making and enjoy too. And yeah, you'll come and you should just come and we'll just spend the week making recipes and stuff. But uh, I have no, I have no overall qualms with this recipe so far, except for the food coloring. But obviously if you're making rainbow mac and cheese, you're going to have to open up some food coloring. That's, yeah. that's a big part of it here. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, yeah, these are pretty, pretty easy. I, I'd say these are pretty reasonable ingredients for yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, relatively easy it doesn't have to be gourmet and, yeah. and a lot of times gourmet is with mac and cheese gourmet is where you go wrong that's where you go fucked it up put too, much, like, like, kind of too much like fancy stuff oh i want onions you don't want any fucking onions people put mac. lobster mac and cheese people who do anything with lobster besides just they, eat it it's like stop deep stuff, like, frying it and putting it mac and cheese it's just yeah seattle goes crazy good. they like mac and cheese they're bacon in there and bacon's good in mac and cheese but like i mean they, they put all sorts of weird stuff in there i it's will like, yeah, it's like, I will cook like kielbasa and sausage and cut them up in there to make it like a full meal. And then like some spinach. I do that on the regular, actually. Some spinach. That's like one yeah. of my go to is just like, yeah, a little, little spicy sausage or like a, a, like a, like a hot link. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like yeah. I like a little broccoli. Yeah, a little yeah, broccoli yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. just I, what I do is I just toss it all in with the noodles. If I'm yeah. cooking the noodles, I toss the sausage and the broccoli in with the noodles. Yeah, and then. That's yeah, it. You, trick, you gotta trick your hungry boys and eating their greens. Putting it in mac and cheese will do trick it. Them. Yeah, trick them. But not in this one. There's none of that stuff in here. This, nah, is, nah, mac nah, and nah. this is just nothing. That's it. This is a fun one. This Pure fun healthy one. food coloring. Oh, whoa. We got pictures. instructions. I whoa. know. They step by step. They, they're so helpful. Wow. Look at this. Mix butter, milk, cheese, flour, and salt in a pot and let melt over medium heat. Stir constantly to avoid burning. Mmm. So that's yeah. good. That's good advice. And so, like, I, I don't know about you, but most mac and cheeses, homemade mac and cheese recipes that I've made always call for making a roux first. And you make a roux, and, and, and if you don't know what that is, that's when you take a little a little milk and a little – or a little butter and a little flour, and you just – stir up together to make this like paste yeah. that like goes on the bot that yeah, goes throughout the whole thing and then you build the build the sauce from there but this yeah. one you don't do that you don't even need to like that's like if you even look at the pictures like here's you see him put there's the butter yeah. and then there's the milk and then there's the cheese and then there's more cheese i assume that's the parmesan i don't know yeah. why you can't put all the cheese in at the same time like what you just put uh, it because in, it's you know? different sizes so it's like a full cup a full two cups and then like a half a cup so they're just showing you the different sizes also, so. okay. also, if you're making mac and cheese, like I ain't measuring my cheese. I'm just loading that shit up with cheese. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's each their own. I mean, I'm with you on there. It's like you don't really need to measure cheese. You don't need to you measure the cheese shit. until it's the consistency that you until, want. Until yeah. it's as cheesy as you want until, it to be. Until it's the way you want it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then you then look. They're adding the flour after the cheese, which is 
way to do it. I don't know. I, guess. I, I, I feel like Rue's the way to go, don't you? Yeah, I mean, there's a yeah. reason that Rue exists, and there's a reason that every other recipe calls for a Rue, and it's because yeah. it makes for a better cheese sauce. Yeah. Yeah, Putting the right. flour in last and then the salt in last. Salt in last, I can get behind. I can get behind yeah. that. Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. So this is overall, well, this is bad. pretty reliable. And, and like, oh, they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't lie and call this step one. They just walked you through what you're doing. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's and that's wonderful. the so thing, thank yeah. You. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Here's where it gets fun. Pour the melted cheese into four small containers and add in food coloring. Stir until combined. So this is... This is, look at those. So you got your four different food colorings. That's. <laughs> what, 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 what fucking rainbow is this? My food ain't blue enough. I need more blue food. None of the. Blue and pink. That right. yellow, of, that right yellow at most is yellow. the only color in a rainbow. There's no lavender, teal, or pink in a rainbow. And the next thing, you cook the macaroni and then you divide it evenly. So you cook the macaroni and then you just add it into these little bowls each and four separate cheese sauce bowls and let the macaroni sit the macaroni and stir the macaroni and the cheese until it's fully coated. That's what you do. That's what you do here with this stuff. Look at your face. You're loving it. Uh, how much fun are you having just even looking at those colors of that food? <laughs> In my brain, my brain is screaming Roy G. Biv right now. And it's just like, you have n red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. You have none of that here. Yellow. I like how like the teal and the lavender just didn't take. Like either That's they haven't like, stirred them enough or yeah, they just like, it just is like, no, we're not going plain we're not gonna be that color. <laughs> plain macaroni <laughs> like covered the in purple noodles are glop. fighting against this. Yeah, like, no, we don't want it. We don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to be a teal mac uh, and cheese. I don't want to put me in the yellow bowl where I feel <laughs> bored. Oh. And then here's our finished product. Look at that. We put our gold fork in a rainbow. See, this is because because they didn't use like either like the Gruyere, like you were talking about, or like the Velveeta to make like something creamy. It's just like the the oh. cheese is, the cheese is not bonded with the mac and cheese with the mac. Not at all. It's gross. Oh, I think that this they is just rushed it. Yeah, this is this is one of the worst things I've ever. This is seen. disgusting. This is <laughs> disgusting looking. This is worse than I imagined when you, when I first saw the title. Somehow yeah. it was worse than I imagined. Look at the upper left. They even have a rainbow. For comparison, it looks nothing like the mac and cheese. Get out of here. I, you know, I would say nothing. I'd say actually it's pretty close. Like I think I think I think they may have put that rainbow in just to just to match this this just, plate. Just to try to convince you that rainbows have what? Red, orange, tan, lime green. <laughs> There's not even any yellow in that ring. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> I, do like, uh, I do like the addition of tan. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that, also, that's a good touch. also, I don't mean to be crit critique here. How bad is your mac and cheese that you have to, you have to zip it up for your kids to eat it? Kids love mac and cheese. That's like having to do something to your chicken this fingers to like make kids eat it. It's like a fun party It's treat. not fun it's, at it's, all. It's so fun. Look how fun that is. It doesn't look fun at all. It looks un it looks it looks off putting. What? Do you have a review? Do I have a review? I actually found someone who likes this. I actually found someone who I loves this. About it. Yeah, I got a five star review. You ready for it? I want to hear a five star review. Yeah, this is a five star review uh, for Rainbow Mac and Cheese. As written, uh, this was submitted to us by someone who just goes by uh, a leprechaun. I can't wait. And I know how much you love my voices, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a go. All right? Oh, me pot of gold. Rainbow mac and cheese is an absolute treasure. A culinary delight that has me dancing to jig of joy. The blend of vibrant colors tickles me mischievous fancy. And each velvety bite is like discovering a hidden gem at the end of a deliciously cheesy rainbow. The leprechaun in me heartily approves of this enchanting dish that turns an ordinary mac and cheese into a magical feast. The taste is as golden as me treasure, and the playful hues make me mouth every mouthful a whimsical adventure. 
Aye, this rainbow mac and cheese is a culinary marvel, earning it five pots of gold in me book. <laughs> okay, uh, we have to address this, which is the accent. So, you don't like? Let's, let's, no, no, that's great. It was delightful. But here, I can see how there might be some people out there that may find this problem. <laughs> I don't. And the reason is, is because like, here's, here's my kind of rule with like accents and stuff. Yeah. It's like, it's always okay to punch up. Now the question is, is Irish punching up? Cause I feel like the state of America almost everywhere is punching up. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to say mine as a performer who is, does improv and does stuff on the fly. Uh, if your white people can do white people accents. And, yeah, and that's that's, that's good. my rule. That's I'm my rule. Think of my, my Irish accent. I don't know how good it is. I haven't practiced it in a while. Yeah, no. I mean, I could I'm do just like. Not even gonna try. Yeah, no. I think I know. I um, I hear it you. It was delightful. I, I, I hear you, I'm and I with it. I agree. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, white people, white people can, white people can make fun of white people. Yeah, I think that's true. Hey, this is what it really looks like. Whoa! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? This is someone who actually made it, not the artist's rendition. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dig in, chance. Pluses. Pluses. This person did it orange and green. You know, orange and green are in there. So there's a plus. Uh, but I guess this is why you don't do it with like, this is why you don't add Velveeta and make it extra creamy because it, it becomes this. What are the colors? Again, Roy G. Piv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. What is on oh, the that, right? That's the worst green I've ever that seen. That is the worst green. There's a reason. There's a reason food isn't that green. Oh, it's like they were skimp. You know, it's also like they were skimping on the, the green and the blue food coloring. It's like, like you this gotta, you could gotta be mac and cheese, or this could be baked beans. Like, no one knows. Join us next week when we do rainbow baked beans. <laughs> oh. Good night. Good night. Sorry.